Hey, and welcome to your beginner guide to getting started with custom prompts inside of ZimWriter. Custom prompts are incredibly powerful. They allow you to layer your prompts onto my prompts to then apply your prompts after ZimWriter has generated the content for a specific section and completely tailor your output for your specific needs. Very powerful. Let me show you how it all works. Again, this is our beginner guide. There's a lot to digest in here. So I'm gonna have a more advanced lesson later on, but right now we're just gonna give you that high level overview. Now you can use the custom prompt feature in the bulk writer, the SEO writer, the Penny Arcade, and then also the product roundup feature. But we'll open up the bulk writer and you can find cut the custom prompts in this custom prompt button right here. And this is the area where you would both create your custom prompts and apply your custom prompts. So I have a couple in here, but before, let me take a step back. Before we look at them, I wanna highly recommend clicking this button, which will take you to this guide to using custom prompts. Very important to read. Out of all the different guides, this is probably the most important to read if you're gonna start using custom prompts. I don't just create prompts in ZimWriter and just say, I hope they work. I test everything. I test everything hundreds of times. If you're gonna create custom prompts and use those custom prompts, you need to be testing your custom prompts. This guide shows you exactly how to do it. It's not hard, but you do need to understand the basics. So let me show you what a custom prompt looks like. So we'll open up this, this dog conclusion one. So this is a situation where someone wanted a call to action, like a textual call to action in their conclusion. I think they had a kennel, it's called PBG Kennels, and they wanted to mention that like, people should reach out if they have any questions or anything like that. So here is the prompt, rewrite the text at an eighth grade level by using visual language to evoke emotion while making a concluding main point mentioned that the reader should reach out to PBG Kennels if they need help. And then what we can do is we can say, I wanna apply this to the conclusion. So prompt for the conclusion, CP dog conclusion. And then you can specify what model you want the prompt to be applied in. So we'll say, I want this to be applied in 3.5 turbo 1106. And now we just leave this. And your custom prompt will now be applied whenever we write an article that has a conclusion. We can say, oh, you know what? I wanna apply this for the intro also. Now we can do that. Now it's gonna apply for the intro in the conclusion. There's other custom prompts you can make. So let's say remove AI terms. Rewrite the text to remove any of these words if they are present in the text. Delve dive, maybe you don't want those words. So you say, I want everything to apply the, uh, the remove AI terms. And now what this is gonna do is apply this prompt everywhere for the intro, for the conclusion, for the subheading, transitions, product layout, key takeaways, FAQs, for everything it's gonna apply this prompt. Now, I mentioned testing your prompts is so critical. I explain exactly how to test your prompts inside of here. This is what I send to OpenAI. I send a context, so I, I literally, you can go into, the playground and test this. This is literally what I put in here, all right? I have the context, which would be the article title or subheading title. So if we apply this to the intro, the intro, it would supply the title of the article. If we applied this to a subheading, it would, where's our intro? It would be the subheading title for whatever the, the subheading is. The text to modify. This would be the text that ZimWriter generated. So ZimWriter generates the text first, and then it goes back to OpenAI and applies your prompt after it generated the text. And then I say, modify the text according to these rules. And this is where I paste your prompt in, and this is the modify text. This is what we get as a result. So as an example, this is what it looks like completely filled out. So we'll take this and I'll paste it right into the playground. If you're not familiar with the playground is a place where you can test your prompts because it's not biased based on previous generations like ChatGPT, because you're having a string of conversations with it, it's biased. You never wanna develop your prompts inside of ChatGPT. Develop them in the playground. And then also, I forgot to mention, set this to like 1,000 for the length and set this to 0.7. Don't mess with anything else in here. So the context, this is just, I was reviewing some, I think, floodlights or something. So this is the context, H2, and this is the text it wrote. And then this is the custom prompt, rewrite the text in the style of Dr. Seuss, and also include a markdown format bullet list. So we click submit and see what we get. So now it's writing it like Dr. Seuss, and it gives us this markdown bullet list. Now, if you'll see, like it says markdown format bullet list, maybe we don't want that in there. 
all right? Maybe we don't want it to say markdown format bullet list. So you'd come back up here and you tweak your prompt. All right, you tweak it a little bit. And then you delete this and you run it again. Run it like 10 times, run it like 15 times. Try your prompt on different models or just stick to whatever model you're gonna use in here because your prompt is gonna function on different models. Test this thing out because that's exactly what I do. And that gives us that high quality output inside of ZenWriter. If you're not testing, you're not gonna get good output. One more thing. You're allowed to, let's see, if we go back to the custom outline feature that we talked about in the last lesson, there's a way for you to even specify your custom prompt on a subheading level. CP, all your custom prompts have to start with CP underscore, and then your custom prompt name. And so in the SEO writer, yes, we have this custom prompt button to apply custom prompts, but you can even apply your custom prompt to your subheadings. So it'd be like CP. If we had a prompt named Seuss, you could apply it just like that. Extremely, extremely powerful. We need a much deeper dive, but that was just to give you a taste on what you can do with this. I do have more videos on this right now. Definitely check them out. Any questions, drop a comment in the comments below. Uh, hit me up on Facebook, like the video, subscribe. I'll see you in the next lesson.